Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will see how we can use social login with Keyclock. You can see the various logos, Facebook, LinkedIn, PayPal, GitHub, OpenID Connect. So let's see how we can uh, leverage these social logins, which contains all the validated identities uh, of uh, end users. So how we can connect with Keyclock. Let's get started. So now we are at the key clock realm settings. Okay. So that means I have logged into my key clock. Now you can see here, if I see identity providers. So these identity providers are the ones which provides you identity of the external user. Okay. So this is called identity brokering as well. Okay. So where we, uh, key clock has built in support for open ID connect SAML 2.0 and other social networks such as Google, GitHub, Facebook, Twitter, so if I use this drop down, it says user defined. That means we can have our own uh, like integration with SAML uh, 2.0 open ID connect, then key clock open ID connect. That means, for example, if I am having another open key clock instance up and running, right? So I can make use of that as well. That is identity delegation I'm doing. Okay. So, and next is your social. So in the social key clock has already have support for all these things, uh, social logins, GitHub, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Instagram, Microsoft, Bitbucket, Twitter, GitLab, PayPal, Stack Overflow. Okay. So you can link with any of these social providers as well. So in this video, I will be showing you why LinkedIn. Okay. So as our like-minded groups, right, we are all on LinkedIn as well. Okay. So when I click on LinkedIn, you can see we are getting this, uh, we need to provide the identity provider information. Okay. So redirect URI, this is by default will be provided by Keyclock because um, ultimately what is happening like authorization code flow is happening. So now this client ID and client secret will be coming from the LinkedIn developer apps. Okay. I will show you that as well. Okay. So what will happen? Authorization code flow will happen. Then we'll be using client ID, client secret and in like behind the scenes, key clock will be doing that. And the flow will go to LinkedIn where you will see a consent, right? Uh, XYZ app want to access your ID, right? So would you be continuing with that? So that kind of consent uh, will be appearing at your screen and then you will say, yes, I want to continue or no reject. So accordingly, you will be able to log in with uh, LinkedIn. Okay. So yeah, now uh, how to get this client ID and client secret. Okay. So basically we will be going to LinkedIn developers. Okay. So you can see, uh, you can just Google it developers for LinkedIn. Okay, so you will be landing onto this uh, website, LinkedIn developers. So here you can see I already have this app key clock local, but yeah, we can go to my apps and I can see view all apps. Now this is one of the app which I have created for this demo, or you can create a new app as well. Okay. So for example, I can, I can create a new app and I will say key clock social login demo okay yeah here i here this is one more requirement where we need to give a linkedin page okay so this uh, for example i have already have the linkedin page okay so let me go to this linkedin okay here i can go to my linkedin page as well this is the linkedin page I will copy this and this one. So it has already identified, right? So here privacy policy URL is not mandatory, but I can tell you like those who will be trying with Facebook, they have made it mandatory to have the privacy policy as per their rules. Okay. They will validate that your privacy policies are meant uh, correct or not. So, and you need to host those uh, privacy policy. So right now I am doing it in my local environment, right? So if you don't have any uh, uh, server from, uh, on which you can host that privacy policy, 
then it will be pain to you okay so that's why i have chosen linkedin to show you this demo okay so here you need to add the logo because this logo will be visible to the uh, end user who want to log in with uh, this uh, app okay or log in with linkedin so i will upload a logo okay just this is my linkedin logo okay and legal agreement you can uh, read this api terms of use and then you will say i have read and agree create app okay so now you can see right we'll go to the uh, auth so here i can see i have the authentication keys this is the client id i will use this client id and i will have the client secret okay now you can see this uh, token time to live duration its uh, access token is two months okay so that uh, for two months uh, the user can use the same token to log in and then after two months you need to authorize this app again now the next step is you can see this redirect uri what you need to do you need to provide this redirect uri over here okay so yeah so now we have given this right so now next part is the important part to go to products so you can see these are the available products of which i can subscribe so this third one you can see in this one sign in with linkedin so this is important so you need to select this one okay so by in adding this product only you will be able to log in with linkedin okay so now we are good here so all the we just need client id and client secret okay so rest properties you can see uh, like you can store tokens right uh, if after authenticating the user we can store the tokens or restore tokens readable then disable user info right trust email right if i am trusting a email linkedin email for example my email which is linked with uh, linkedin right if i am saying trust email then the verification email verification which in with uh, key clock do that verification right so that will be not done okay then account linking only so you basically you are not allowing to log in but you can link the account right hide on login page so i will show you how it will come on login page then gui order means like for example if you have multiple uh, social login providers for example linkedin github paypal so you can have a order as well again this is the first login flow so if, if you can see again it is a authentication flow so when you would are logging or for the very first time right this first broker login will happen and post login flow you can have any other flow if you want for example once the user has clicked on login with uh, linkedin right next step you are saying that you user must use otp right then you can have that login flow here okay so i will click on save so you can see linkedin provider has been created if i go to identity providers again you can see we have this identity provider now let's uh, see if uh, everything is working fine i will just sign out from here now you can see linkedin button is coming right either you can use your account or sign in with linkedin so see how in may, maybe like in within 2 3 minutes of time we are able to link integrate this linkedin okay so let's see whether it works or not i am clicking on linkedin okay so Uh, because um, before this demo right i have tried as well okay so that's why it is saying welcome back so again i am saying okay sign in so now we can see this is the consent screen of linkedin where it is saying that you are logged in i can see that this is my profile picture and this is the app which i am going to give access to okay so you can see and the name will also appear key key clock social login demo would like to use your name and photo use the primary email address okay so i will be allowing it okay so this is basically if, like if you have worked on open id connector or o2 right 
you know this is authorized and code flow which is happening so i will say allow yeah so now we are able to successfully logged in forbidden is just because like in my other videos also i have mentioned this thing because we are at the master console right master realm and we are at the admin console and for this security admin console this user has no rights right that's why forbidden but you can see uh, it is showing my linkedin name chand prashant sharma right that means i'm log logged in successfully okay so i can click on manage account to see my profile as well okay so you can see i can go to my personal info so it has fetched my username my email id this is first name last name okay so this is how you do it in the social login so now we can say as um, linked accounts right so you can see now uh, in linked accounts we can see linked login providers because we have uh, uh, done the login with linkedin right so you can see this social login linkedin with uh, this email id so i can unlink the account as well okay so then again if i have done the integration with facebook as well so i will be getting the row for facebook and for with github i can see the row for github as well okay so this is the signing in uh, you can see and i can set up two factor authentication as well okay so again this is the some uh, like because this account has been linked via the social login provider so that's why i this password is not set up because i am directly logging with my uh, social provider but yes i can set up a two factor authentication like i was mentioning right post flow uh, this otp thing we can handle it here okay so guys this was about the social login and i hope you will be able to set up the same thing in your local environment or key clock environment let me know by putting in the comments whether you will be you are able to do this or not or if you are facing any challenges then also put it in the comments okay so i will see you in the next video bye bye